I love cooking with vongole or any type of clam really. They're fantastic because they're really quick to cook and the flesh inside is just so sweet. Now I'm going to give mine a bit of an Italian twist by serving it with a Sicilian pesto called trapanese. So before we get onto our vongole, let's make the trapanese sauce. It's best to do this in the blender so we get a lovely smooth pesto. When you are using your blender though, make sure you do add the liquid first. By adding the liquid first, we're going to be able to blend this much easier so all the solids won't stick to the bottom. So a few good glugs of good quality extra virgin olive oil for this because it is the basis of the sauce. I'll add a clove of garlic and just with my knife, I'll bruise it. And some parsley stalks. We will use the leaves, but I'm just gonna garnish right at the end. There is so much flavour in the stalks. I really hate throwing them out. So I definitely use these in this recipe. So about two or three sprigs of parsley there. And what makes this very unique is the tomatoes. So semi-sun-dried tomatoes full of sweetness. We're gonna add a generous handful of them and some of that oil and some almonds. So whole blanched almonds. I'll add a splash of water and finally some Parmesan cheese. This is going to thicken this Sicilian style pesto. A small pinch of salt and some pepper. And we're gonna pop the lid on and give this a good blend until it's smooth. All right, this sauce is ready to go. Look at this beautiful colour. It's nice and thick and that's how I want it because as it mixes with the vongole, it will loosen up with the white wine that we're adding. This sauce is fantastic with pasta. Originally, it's actually served with pasta, but it's even better with the vongole. So let's start cooking the vongole. I've been preheating a saute pan. It's really hot and these take no time at all to cook. In fact, they'll tell you when they're cooked because they'll start to open. And you can tell that these are vongole because of their curved ridges. Now these have been purged, so there's no sand whatsoever in it. And the best way to purge these is just to pop them into some water and let them soak there for a couple of hours and give them a good rinse. Now we're going to add them to the pan. Be careful because it's very hot. And a splash of white wine. And we're just going to pop the lid on this for about 30 seconds. Then I'll add the pesto. So you just want that wine, the raw flavour of the wine to cook off before we add the next ingredient. So just give that a moment and then as that starts to bubble up, we'll add half of this trapanese sauce. Give it a mix through. I love the sound of vongole cooking. So good. And you can already see that they're starting to cook. See how they're opening up here? That's the first one, but you do want to put the lid on so it does cook evenly. So we're going to give it another minute and I think they'll be ready then. All right, let's have a look at the vongole. Yep, they are definitely ready. See how they've all opened up. And because we've got almond in that trapanese sauce, you can see that the sauce is quite thick. I love it like this. So to plate up, just going to pop a little vongole into a bowl. And this would be enough for two people as an entree. And seal that delicious sauce there. Just going to grab that and pour it over. If you like a little parsley, just tear that, pop that over the top. And you have to serve this with some grilled bread. Just going to cut that in half, pop that on the side, and to tie the whole thing together, some olive oil. Just a little drizzle. Yum. Oh, I love a dish like this when it's so simple, but it just looks so special. You're just automatically transported to Italy, maybe by the seaside. 
I'm gonna have a taste of one of these gorgeous little vongole. Mmm. Mmm. That is such a delicious dish. I love it. <laughs>